Hello and welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Jordan Bisset Joseph. Chefs in Schools, an initiative of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. Since its conception, the aim of the initiative is to aid in providing guidance to food and nutrition students from industry chefs. Over a duration of months, the chefs share experiences and advice with the students. The program culminates in a national culinary competition called SLHDA Chefs in Schools Cook-Off, where two students from each school gain a chance to participate. And today I'm actually joined by two of these students out of the Leon Hess Comprehensive Secondary School who will be taking part in the competition. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Now if we can start off by you all just introducing yourselves to our audience. Okay, my name is Muki Jishel. I attend the Leonis Conference Secondary School. I am 17 years of age. Currently, we are training at the Cap Mesa Hotel and we are being coached by Chef Billy Morissette. Okay, brilliant. Good morning. My name is Waveney Prosper. I'm 16 years old. I attend the Leonis Conference Secondary School and we are currently, as she said, at training at Cap Mesa and our chef is Billy Morissette. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, first of all, can you tell me about how you actually became a part of the competition? Maybe you would like to start. Okay. Well, I became a part of the competition when some chefs came to our school mm -hmm. and they were showing us some techniques, both pastry and main food. Mm -hmm. And then they told us about the competition and then a few a few weeks after my teacher spoke to us about the competition mm -hmm. and she said she was looking for a person she would be choosing and then she spoke to me about the competition and then she chose me because mm -hmm. of my skills my speed mm -hmm. and the ability my ability to prepare different dishes okay yes. brilliant and what about you Waveney? well i got chosen because my teacher said that I'm a very dedicated worker. Mm -hmm. I prepared dishes well speedily mm -hmm. and my passion for cooking. Okay, all right, yes. brilliant. So both of you all um, outside of school both have a passion for cooking, yeah? Yes, we do. Okay, and what kind of things do you like to like? What, what do you guys kind of specialize in? I know you're still young, but I know everybody likes to, to do certain things. Is it baking? Is it cooking, I don't know, starters? What kind of things do you like to do? Well, basically, I don't have anything that I specialize in. Okay. I prefer anything you give me, mm -hmm. I do. Very good. Yes. Okay, and what about you? Well, I more specialize in, like, baking, you know, like, mini pies, mm -hmm. mini macaronis. Mm -hmm. I love macaronis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yes. All right, brilliant. Now, going forward, how do you feel about actually being in the competition? I know that, um, I believe you said Cap Maison, is that where you're training? How's yes. the training been so far? Has it been very intense? The training on Cap Maison, it mm. has been going awesome so far. Okay, brilliant. That's very good. At Cap Maison, mm. I've learned how to work under pressure. I've learned how to work speedily. Mm -hmm. My nice skills, it's improved. Mm -hmm. And... Yes. Okay. Well, I have experience how to work under pressure, like she said, mm -hmm. working with the chefs mm -hmm. and just watching how they be able to prepare the dishes, mm -hmm. their techniques. Mm -hmm. I've experienced our um, nice skills, improving them, mm -hmm. just keeping, keeping ourselves clean as we would go along, like yeah. work along. Mm -hmm. We clean before, mm -hmm. during and after, mm -hmm. keeping ourselves neat. Okay, now looking forward to the competition now. I know there's a is it mystery basket yes, part yes, and there's another part. What's the other part? The signature the dish. The signature dish. dish. How do you feel about that? Especially the mystery basket. I know that that might be a bit daunting. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, that? Well, f for me, mm -hmm. I'm confident about the signature dish. Mm -hmm. Going into the competition, we're very confident about our signature dish. We're also confident about... Our second round, mm -hmm. it's, yes, it's a mystery basket. Yeah. What our chef do, certain days we come in, he allow us, he would give us a protein, mm -hmm. and then we would discuss among ourselves, and then we would come up with an idea, and then we would present our idea to him, and then he would like mm -hmm. give us some ideas, 
and then we would join his idea and our idea and we'll come up with a big idea and yeah. we'll just work to <laughs> improve the issue. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. Okay, yes. all right then. So that you guys are very confident going forward? Yes, Yeah? Are. yeah? Okay. Yeah. And you kind of, do you, the way you're smiling, it's like you kind of you feel like you have something up your sleeves, that you have something that you might bring out. You have something up your sleeves you think you're going to well, bring out and win yes. the competition? Yes. yes. Okay, brilliant. And I know that in going forward, you are also supposed to represent St. Lucia, whoever wins the competition in yes. Barbados. How would you feel about that? It would be a big experience, yeah. to be honest. Just working with our chefs and going to see the different country, well, mm -hmm. the Barbados, to mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. And, well, mostly just for the experience okay. and working in the chef life. Okay, all right, brilliant. Now, before we go, let me just ask, because I know, um, for instance, I know students who have taken part in, like, FNN at school and such like, but don't really see it as a career. Are both of you thinking of maybe taking this up as a career one day? Yes. Okay. I want to continue in the culinary field. Mm -hmm. I would like to become a chef when after secondary school. Brilliant, and I hope one day I can come and partake in something you've cooked. Sure. <laughs> and what about you, Waveney? Well, when I started FNN in Form 3, my first experience was great. Mm -hmm. I honestly wanted to start my own hotel, mm -hmm. and I still look forward to doing that, but first I would like to enhance my skills more before I do that. Okay, well, I'm going to wish both of you all the best of luck. Thank you for coming in and talking to us today. It's been wonderful sharing this time with you. However, we're going to do a break right now, and when we come back, I will be talking to two students from Mariko Secondary. Keeping hands clean is important for good health. However, after a disaster, staying clean is hard to do, especially if there is no pipe borne water. Simple things you can do to stay clean and remain healthy are Wash your hands with soap and clean water. If these are not available, sanitizers with alcohol are options. Wash your hands many times during the day, before preparing food, eating, caring for a sick person or baby, treating a cut, wound, or sore. Wash hands after using the bathroom, changing diapers, caring for animals, caring for sick or injured persons, after handling garbage. Washing your hands is one of the best ways to prevent illness. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at telephone number 468-5349. Welcome back. You are watching Interview, a production of the Government Information Service, and I am Jolene B. Set Joseph. We are now joined by two young ladies from the Stanley John Audler Memorial School, also known to many as Marigold Secondary, and they are going to tell the, me their names and introduce themselves to us right now. So if you can go first, please. My name is Naira James. I'm 16 years old. I'm a Form 5 student of the Stanley John Audler Memorial Secondary School. Okay. My name is Denise Didier. I'm 16 years old and I'm a student of the Marigo. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of the Stanley John Audler Memorial Secondary School. Okay, brilliant. Now, ladies, um, I was talking before about the, the competition to uh, the ladies that were here before. Um, however, can you tell us a little bit about how you first found out about the competition and how you got involved in the competition? Maybe we can start with you, Naira. Well, I first found out about the competition when my FNN teacher, Mrs. Selta Augustine, was talking to us about the competition. And she told us like that it would be a great opportunity mm -hmm. for us in the future. Okay. And what about you, Denise? I first found out about the competition when uh, chefs at the Marigo Bay mm -hmm. Resort and Marina and various chefs mm -hmm. came to our school mm -hmm. to show us different things like pastry, mm -hmm. fish, chicken, mm -hmm. and then they told us about the competition and two of us would be selected to, to take part in the competition. Okay, brilliant. Now, what um, I, I know that is there's different resorts actually working with the different schools. So, what resort is actually working with your school? Marigo Bay. Marigo Bay. And what's the name of your your the other uh, trainer coach yes. right now? What's the name of your chair? Chef, Chef Wana. Okay, how, what's it like training under Chef Wana? It's a very good experience. Mm -hmm. He teaches us lots of different recipes, how to plate our dishes, mm -hmm. and. He also teaches us how to cook with love. Okay, brilliant. I like that answer. <laughs> That's very <laughs> good. Okay. All right. And how has the experience been going into um, maybe the, the resort and seeing how different it is? What, what were your first impressions when you saw how fast things were actually moving in the kitchen, for example? My first impression when I first entered the hotel, I was, um, how would I say it? 
like surprised like this year they're working so fast mm -hmm. i give you have to cater for 100 people mm -hmm. like they have to move so fast cook a lot like mm -hmm. and it's so hot and i like i don't know how they're doing it <laughs> <laughs> okay but what's the training been like is it been very hard is it a lot of hard work or is it something you're still enjoying it's a lot of hard work, but we're enjoying it. Yeah, okay. Is there any part of the training that you've liked especially? Something that maybe you hadn't learned yes. before? The night shift. We work right. sometimes 3, three to 11. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes, we work night shift and it does, it does be fun. Yeah? What yeah. makes it what's more, what makes it fun to you? Um, just to prepare dishes, like mm -hmm. being under pressure, mm -hmm. like yeah, working fast. Okay, brilliant. Okay, now looking towards the competition, I was um, talking to the young ladies before and I was saying I know there's two aspects of the competition where you have your, your mystery um, baskets and, and, and the signature dish. Which are, they, are you confident about both aspects of the competition or is there one that you're feeling a bit nervous about maybe? No. Well, yeah? mm -hmm. we must have our signature dish. Often on our chef does give us mystery baskets mm -hmm. here and there like I want to give it to us timers. We're not helping us not one bit. We have to <laughs> think by ourselves. Yeah. So like I like that. Like you're helping us mm -hmm. like push forward, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you feel in going forth to a competition? Are you very confident? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Very. Okay. All right. Is there anything you 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 would say that, that is making you confident? Is it that because you you've got your signature signature dish, sorry, down so packed already? Is that why? You feel so confident yes. going forward. And, and we have a lot of support. Yeah. From, yeah. Our, from our teachers. We have support our from our teachers, the chefs at the hotel and family members. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic to know. Okay, all right then. So again, moving forward, um, are both of you all, um, is, is this, is FNN something that you all um, take as a, as a hobby? I know you, are you studying in school right now, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it something that you would like to carry on and maybe um, develop a career in? Yes, for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What would you like to do? I like to be a sous chef, maybe one day executive wow. chef. Yeah. Okay, that's good. What about you, Naira? I want to be a chef, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we have to take it slow, take it <laughs> one step at a time okay. to know what we are about and where we head into in the future. Okay, no problem. All right then. And how is the, the how is actually the the course been going at school at the moment? And how do how would you um, differentiate that with how what you've been taught? On the in the in the hotel and such like for your training, what is what's the main difference between what happens at school and maybe what happens in the hotel? Well, at the hotel we have less time mm -hmm. and we have to work very quickly. Mm -hmm. But in the school, like they give us a little more time, so we can prep and do everything we have to do, and we will do whatever dish we have to do and finish on time. Okay, and I know that whoever wins the competition also goes on to represent St. Lucia in Barbados. How would you feel if you came out triumphant and had to do that? Oh, marvelous. <laughs> okay, all right then. That sounds wonderful, okay. Well, ladies, it's been wonderful talking to you, but before I go, I would like to find out, is there anything that you would like to say even to your chefs, to, uh, to your chef, your trainer, or even maybe to, um, you said that you have a lot of backing from family, friends, teachers. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody as you go forward? Well, we just want to say a big thank you to all our teachers, the chefs at Marigo Bay Resort, mm -hmm. family members for all the support. Okay. And what about you, Denise? Um, first of all, I'd like to sh thank Chef Juana, first mm -hmm. of all, because he's been there with us from the beginning. Like, sometimes he off when he comes in and training for us, like, mm -hmm. you know. And I'd like to thank my FNN teacher as well for choosing me, you know. Yeah. It's a smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, very good. That's very good to hear. Well, ladies, I, I wish you all the best as you go forward in the competition. And I hope uh, to hear your names when people are saying where people placed and such likes. And thank you so much for coming forward and, and sharing this time with us today. You're okay. welcome. All right. However, for now, this is all that we have time for on interview. So from us here at the GIS, bye-bye for now.